I hope I'm focused here. Are we good? Why does my camera always look like that? I feel like there's a lag or something. There we go. Have to wait for some people to come in. And then I'll start getting into it. Hi again. Welcome back. So I guess I'm gonna, I don't know if I should wait a second for some people to come in or what. I wanted to sleep in so late today because the kids didn't have school, but I had a meeting, so. Hello, thank you for joining over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my prototype primer um, from Unearthly and avoid the nose ring because it's hurting right now. I'm loving this primer. I can't stop putting it down. It's like the perfect mix of pore filling and hydrating at the same time. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody who's in here in the chat. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my luminous silk, I think. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use one of my sage brushes, I think. That'd be nice. Which one's the one that she uses? I think it's this one. So I'm going to go in with the F01. And I'm going to put like two pumps of luminous silk on there. And then just apply that. Ooh. I love this foundation too because it's super glowy. I'm going to be posting, um, I think tomorrow, I'm going to post my favorite foundations video for you guys. I think I'm going to split everything up like my favorite, my favorites. I'm going to split them up. And then I can have like mini videos talking about my favorite items and why. You get snow and a live video? I do not miss the snow, I'm sorry. I'm putting on very little. I want it to just give me a glow because I, I want to photograph these after. And I find um, that skin just looks better, less is more, when you're doing photography. Especially when you're going to be doing macros, like close-up eye looks. Um, less is definitely more. I only have a couple minutes, but I want to say good morning. Hey, people's opinion on the bullet lipsticks. I absolutely love them. Aw, thank you. Aw. Look at you working hard. Okay, I'm gonna be using some of this True Match. This is my first time trying it. So I'm putting on very little. And then I'm just gonna take that same brush and kinda work that into the skin of it. I can't wait to do these looks. I've been dying to do something a little bit more creative with my time and you already know rare beauty brow gel there is no other there just isn't there's no other so I'm going to keep my brows relatively um, thinner today I'm not even really going to be brushing up I'm just going to be brushing across And keeping the brows nice and thin and then flattening them as that dries that's that one brow down what are you guys doing today you 
because I feel lost today. I know I need to be putting away my laundry, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to. <laughs> oh, you cat catching the live? Thank you guys so much for joining, by the way. We're just going to be having fun and doing something weird today. It's not going to make sense. It's just two different eyes because I'm going to be filming them, but like photographing, I'm sorry, not filming. Working or waiting for calls and not really working. Do you do customer service? It's snowing a bit in Amsterdam. Making food props. What kind of food props? Negative nine. Oh my god. All right, so I want to do a monochromatic blue look so I pulled this urban decay um, Like shadow pencil thing. I Took out the voluminous blue. I pulled out this color pop. This one's more aqua I don't know if that's the route I'm gonna go, but I've been wanting to play with the about face face paints and I thought that this Rem Beauty shifts blue pink that might be fun and then I pulled the moon dust from Urban Decay in Pyro for that eye. And then I think I'm gonna use one of these, this like cool tone shade over here from All Done Up, Blend Bunny's palette. Um, I think that that could be really fun cause I wanna play with it a bit and I need to start using the stuff that I'm purchasing. Um, then for the red, I have the Pat McGrath red and you guys said you wanted to see it last time. So I'm gonna try that. I'm going to put away the voluminous red, so. Uh, I want to also use the crime scene eyeshadow ba base from Make Up a Murder on both eyes to see how that works. I pulled Devoted to Chili Red Single Shadow from MAC, About Face Red. I've got Alkaline, which I just used in my last video, and then I picked up this other Moondust from Urban Decay in Grind. And it's got like a pinky red flip. And then I thought, I got this Pro Longwear paint pot and I thought it would be nice to highlight the brow bone with this. It's in the shade Princess Cut and it has a pink pearly flip. So I thought that that would be really, really pretty. That's what we're doing today. You're making ice cream and cupcakes? Ice cream, I love. Software remote in Oklahoma. Ah, your remote. A somber week. I'm sorry, I hope your week gets better. I'm sad I have to go back. Have a great day. I don't know yet. This is going to be my first time and using it. And then this is the shade hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of start off with that, I think. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. Oh my god, these nails won't let me do anything. So I'll keep you posted if it's sticky or not. Um, is this the brush that I want to use? Or is this the one I want to use? Like I'm going in with the Unearthly 819. And I think I'm going to start off with the eye that is red. And that'll be this eye right here. Oopsies. Actually, I really like the texture of this. It's not, it feels tacky, but it's not too much. This is really nice. I've never used the P. Louise one, but when I see it, it usually looks really glossy. And that's what's kind of stopped me from picking it up because I don't want to work with a base that's way too, way too wet. Um, but this one's really nice. Okay, I'm going to go in with that Devoted to Chili. And I'm taking that on a blending brush and kind of applying it. So we're just kind of winging it.
Anybody else off today? Or is everybody working? I think I'm just gonna use this as a base. I just want it to use it. It's such a good eyeshadow. These powder, I think it's a powder kiss. I don't know if you caught me say this last time, but this should be Max Matte Formula all the time. It is exceptional. It is so good. Working at home with my little one. My little one's watching TV downstairs. I'm sure she'll come in because it's like she could sense when I'm live. The other one, I feel like you guys barely ever see her. She's always in the zone gaming. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap that around too. Really blown out and smoky. I'm trying to figure out now how am I gonna get this about face thing to work for this eye look. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna take this eye paint. Does anybody go in with a brush or do they just like straight up go on top with the product? Cause I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just go over the lid here. And then I'm going to go under here. I've never used this before. <laughs> so bear with me guys. This is kind of new to me. I don't want to go in with my rougher brush. It's so new. I'm scared to mess it up. All right. I'm going to go in with my inner sleeve. And I'm going to kind of pat that in under here too before it sets. And then I'll go back in with this blending brush. Mom hard life. Uh, I think that that made it just so much more impactful, that initial shade. And it turned it a lot more red because I feel like Devoted to Chili is like a little bit more orangey. So I'm going in with some more. I kind of wish I had an eye gloss for this. That'd be fun. Uh, I never go directly to the eyelid because I hate to stain the applicator. I mean, it is already red. It's very liquidy. What else we got? So I could so I can dose better the product. Yeah, that makes sense too. I think because my eyelid was already red, I was just like winging it here. I really like how that looks right now. I think I'm gonna go in with another brush and apply some of this Pro Longwear Paint Pot and Princess Cut to the brow bone. This color is so pretty. I feel like I can never get through these paint pots though. So hopefully I could start putting a dent in this one and actually change that this year. I'm always paranoid that my live isn't working. That color is so pretty, isn't it? I feel like my camera is bugging out. No, I need more here. I need more on the inner corner. I need to cover myself in this color. Oh no, I stained the inside of that product. I want this to look really kind of wet, wet and iridescent. Isn't that a pretty red? 
so I don't know. Did you just come in, Xander? Or were you sitting here the whole time? I'm gonna go in with the alkaline pencil in my waterline, which is much more burgundy. Oh, so I used um, the MAC Devoted to Chili first, and then I went in with the About Face eye paint. And now I'm going in with my Urban Decay pencil and Alkaline, which has to be, I think I might finish this this year because it's my new favorite. Oh yes, that's so true. I try so hard not to pull out palettes that I know you guys can't purchase right now. I should pop in a contact later. We could get really vampire -y. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Moon Dust. Which one is this? In Grind. It's got like an iridescent pink. This is my first time using it. So I'm going to go into just the center of the lid. I want it to have that like wet look. Wow, this color is so pretty. same first brush and start tapping it in and I just want it to have that like really slick editorial wet look but glittery and the iridescent pink on it is so pretty and it was so simple <laughs> we barely used any products and I think if that is so fun to do fun looks like this like let's say you're traveling this was literally the eye look like I go through one of those burgundy eye pencils at least once a year I could see why <laughs> I could totally see why okay I'm gonna whip out my Pat McGrath red mascara so you guys could see it because we spoke about that last time Yeah, I'm hoping to have warmed my blood back out. Hopefully by end of the year. I'm waiting for the sample. So when I played around with this formula, it's very wet. It almost feels like cream. And the only thing I could say is what I appreciate about it is it has lots of flexibility. Because it's so wet, it just takes so long to dry, I feel like. And it looks brighter in the tube, but I feel like I kind of get that same effect from my voluminous red. Like, I feel like I have to keep applying it and applying it to the top. I know you guys told me get a white primer, but I just want to find a mascara where I don't have to. I, I just don't... I don't want to have to. <laughs> Alright, let me get something over here so I could powder under my eye. I swore I had a powder here. I might trip in. I'm totally tripping. Okay, hold on. Alright. I have my RCMA one here. And I'm gonna lightly powder. I feel like powder does not look good in macro close-up photography. So I'm just going to ever so slightly go around the edges here. And then on this area here. Good morning. But does it actually look red? Do you use, have you used it? Is it good? <laughs> I think I love how this turned out. I guess now we could hop over to the blue side and I am going to go in. All right, fine, I'll buy it. You convinced me. I'm gonna go back in with the Makeup A Murder um, Eye for an Eye Eyeshadow Base in Hidden. I'm really liking this. It's not super wet. It doesn't have a really glossy 
finish. A little bit goes a long way. She did her thing on this one. <clears throat> All right. That base is really good. Xander, have you used it yet? The mascara, I feel like you could see it a lot more on my bottom line. Like, let me see. Should I zoom in for you? Are you able to kind of see that there? I mean, you let me know if you think it's pigmented. Maybe I need to go in with another layer. I'm just never usually that person who layers mascara a lot. And I don't know if it's just that my lashes are straight too, so you can't really, like it's difficult to see it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. There. And I forgot what I was doing. Um, okay, I gotta go in with the eyeshadow on this eye. It is super creamy. The mascara is super creamy. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place today. What am I doing right now? I'm getting a brush. And I'm gonna go into my Blend Bunny All Done Up palette. And I wanna use the shade The Look here as a base for my blue. I know it's kind of gray, but that's the, that's the vibe I wanna go for on this one. Okay, Maggie, I see you. It's like a blue-based gray, it's so pretty. It does, look, it does look pink red. Um, the mascara is much more cherry in tone than it is red red. But it could also appear that way because the shade that I used here in comparison is MAC Chili, which is much more orange. It's almost like a terracotta red. So that could be why it's pulling that way. Going under here with that same shade, the look, that's, those two outer rows are the whole reason why I bought the palette. This gray and the greens, oh, so unique to my collection, I think. Cause it's like a periwinkle gray. And I want it to complete out what I felt was just enough of Blend Bunny because I have blends and I have Surge and then this one and I don't really use pastels or else I would have gotten the, is it called Pretty Grunge or something like that? I would have gotten that one but I'm not much of a pastel user. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to close that up for now and I think I'm going to start off with as a base with the Urban Decay um, the Urban Decay pencil stick. What is this one called? In Chaos? It's like an eyeshadow stick. I don't even know if they still make these, but I think that they sent me this in PR at one point. Pigment, where are you? Okay, there we go. I think it's like mixing into the base, that's why. Yeah, I think that those reds will work. All right, where, I need another brush. I need something like a little denser. I'm gonna use this brush and kind of blend this in so I don't really have that choppiness there. <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna just dust over it with whatever was left on that blending brush I had before just to kind of set it that's really pretty though like if you're going for a soft blue I'm gonna go in with the about face eye paint I probably didn't even need to put down that other color but let's try this eye paint How fun is this? I feel like I look like a uh, Harley Quinn. Definitely looking like Harley Quinn right now. Let me go back in with that same brush. Where is it? Oh no, it's. I feel like it's vanishing. Maybe this is the wrong brush to use. Definitely going to have to layer this one up a bit because I feel like I lost a lot of that depth. Any suggestions for using these things? Because the red applied fine and I think it's because I put a dark enough base all the all over the lid to like begin with so if you guys have ex yeah see it like i feel like it blends away this color i want it to be that really rich blue but i guess next time i need to and i feel like the color is just coming up the more i touch it It's patchy for you? Ew. Not a vibe. Not a vibe. I need another blue, I think. I need to find something that's a little bit richer because I think it's just too emollient. Let's see what palette I have here that has blue. Is this is not a true blue. No, it doesn't have a true blue. True blue. Not true blue. Got it. The solution to all my problems in the dark. <laughs> all right. I'm going to take paranormal. Ugh, I'm sad that that didn't work. I was excited. I thought it was going to be like that really really vibrant blue but there's this other brand I think I need to try out that makes that really bright cobalt blue I'm going in with a uh, paranormal from in the dark I'm trying I was trying not to whip this one out because we don't have it available anymore but this is exactly this is exactly what I was going for here. All right. Just gonna go around the edges and around and really blow that out here. Isn't that so much better? This blue from In the Dark is just so good. Such a good blue. I could have. Oh, I could have pulled Heather's palette too. That one also has a really amazing blue inside. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Pyro Moon Moon Dust glitter this time on this eye into the center. I think I'm sad now because I also I bought the mini set that has the yellow so 
I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> I have a feeling. And I don't want to be, but the red is lovely. Like, that was a really nice... That was a really nice red. And I think I'm going to go under here with some of that. Get really fun with it. I think that that is fun. And then I want to take the REM, uh, R-E-M, Beauty, I don't know what this shit is called. I think it's like Fembot or something like that. But I want to put this on the inner corner, I think. Because it reads so much more blue than it does in the container. And what more should we use? here I'll take this little brush here and just blend that in oh I should do like a, a sexy eye bag sometimes it's like I just want to play with my makeup like I don't there's no like prerogative like I just want to do something fun you know and it's nice to have you guys kind of here for that because um, it's like entertaining at the same time, you know? Hmm. Didn't go the way I was thinking. I think it's because I didn't set, honestly, if I did set, it would probably would have been worse. Hi, we're just having fun with makeup. There's nothing super exciting going on over here. We're just being weird, you know? Let's just take it there. We're there, we're gonna, we're gonna take it there. It's interesting because I'm seeing different things depending on where the light is kind of hitting. And then, I guess let's go over here. Okay, so right now I'm using the Femme Beauty, the Femme, <laughs> Rem Beauty, I think this is Fembot. I really cannot read this shit. Um, and then I used some About Face eye paints. I used Blend Bunny All Done Up. I'm going to put on some blue mascara for this look. And yeah, that's this eye. I used the red. Um, I used the Pat McGrath mascara in red. I used Max Devoted to Chili alkaline eye pencil and I use this paint pot and princess cut as the like iridescent I think I'm going to take some over here as well now that I have this crazy situation on this eye and you're really late you're not really late I'm not really doing much of anything <laughs> we're just playing I love the red eye too this one was going good until um, the Fembot didn't blend out properly, but I'm, I'm doing some like more editorial fun stuff for socials anyway, so I don't even give a shit if it comes out good, it comes out good. If it doesn't, I had fun playing with makeup, you know? I think that that looks really fun. Oh, and I use some of these moon dust things. This one's in pyro on this eye. I'm gonna go in with the Voluminous in blue. I think Cobalt, I think it says Cobalt Blue in my eyesight. Like, I don't know why they put the tiniest font on these things. Okay.
I feel like blue mascara always does good, but the red mascara is so hard to find. Like, I really don't know why. And I kind of wish that the Pat McGrath ones, instead of that teal blue, came in like that cobalt royal blue. What are you guys doing today? Anybody that's new in here, what's up? What are you guys doing? Is there any products that I should be picking up? Yeah, like this blue is blue. Like, I want the reds to be like that. Forgot to do the waterline. Oh no, I hope the little one gets better soon. I have this like, oh my god, this ColourPop eyeliner is not even trans, It's not. it looks blue, and then it's like gold green. So we're gonna not, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and I'm gonna go into my little eyeliner thing here and see what blue I have. Uh, oh no, this is a prototype. Anyways, I guess I could use the prototype. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, I should have done this before the mascara so I could really wiggle it in there. He said, maybe try the Mac Strobe Dewy Skin Tint. I definitely want to, um, the thing is, it's like, I want to keep buying these things, but I need to get through what I already own. So, like, I need to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> He's playing in the snow. Okay, I'm going back in with that Mac Paint Pot thing. And I'm just going to take this on a angled brush and start kind of working that. Into, this is so pretty as a highlight. My God. And it's not, it's not disturbing whatever like I set. It looks so pretty. It's minus 11, ew, I don't miss that. I feel like as soon as it's 45, I'm cold, <laughs> or 40. One of my worst days, I remember distinctly commuting to work and it was like 11 degrees and it went down to like minus one when I was leaving work and I was like, I'm so done with it. And that's, it was that day that I had decided I was done. I am done with New York. I'm out of here. Uh, I almost... I want to contour. No snow, just wind making it... Making it feel like minus 20. Oh my god. We got 14 inches of snow and now it's 4 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm ready for spring. Oh my god. That's crazy. I'm kind of tempted to try to use Obscure as a contour. It's just such a weird shade. It's like green. Oh my God, it's giving like Tim Burton vibes. It's working. What a fun contour. I'm using my Singe. F07, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty fun. It's 
it's snowing here. Snowed about four inches, I believe. I do not miss the snow. I'm so sorry, guys. What weird ass numbers and messaging. Stop calling me. I don't know you. Garbage. For real, I need to move to Florida. I mean, the summers though? Nah. No, no, no. Not a fan. All right, I think I wanna do, I think I wanna do like a glowy cheek. And I kind of wanna mix the shades here. Ooh, but I do have this House Labs one that could be really fun. All right, I have some options. I pulled out this incandescence, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it. And then I have Candy Trip and a Shy Boy from Made by Mitchell, but I kind of just wanna go in with this House Labs one. I think that that'd be fun. Move to the shenanigans. Oh my god, it's crazy. I feel like whenever I'm watching the news, it's like some crazy person in Florida. It's like, it's always some crazy Floridian. All right, I'm just gonna go in with that house labs. I love this one. It's supposed to be a highlight, I think. Rose Quartz Bio Radiant Powder Highlighter. I use it as a blush, as like a really glowy light blush it's so pretty yeah florida man <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> there's some crazy ass stories the one where the girlfriend bought the uh, brought the kid to the the mother's house oh my god I, I was so done with the world at that point Yeah, it's always crazy, Florida people. You guys are so right. Like, I can't even... It is so true. All right, I think I need to do something on my lips so that I could take advantage of filming that, too. And maybe something, like, really, like, vampire-y. Oh, maybe we could do, like, black in the center. Remember, all these things are just going to be separate. Like, nobody's going to actually see this together. So, um... What do I got here? Uh, I got a MAC lipstick. What's this one? Ooh, this one's pretty. This one is a metallic shade there. That could be fun. Uh, I got another one here, but this is the more iridescent shade. Maybe I could just do that, like iridescent and then nothing else. I think that's the route I'm gonna go and then do Ooh, I could do a lip stain in the center. Where's the lip stains? I just had them for another video. And now I can't see them. Now I can't see them. I need light in this damn room. And that's a concealer. Okay, here's the lip stain. Frosty lips are definitely going to be a comeback. I called it. I called it. I called it. I said that in my makeup predictions video. Let me just take off this Givenchy lip balm. All right. I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. I can't see the name. Mine came out with no sticker. I think it was very something though. Just in the center. Lip stains always taste like shit. Yep. A little bit more. Your favorite place was Denver? Really? 
Where are you living now? I, I don't. I didn't even pay attention to it. Like I send packages, but I don't be looking at people's stuff. And if you don't want to say it because we're on live, like that's cool too. But I'm in the wild west. I feel like all lip stains kind of taste like that. It tastes like you literally put food coloring like right in your mouth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kind of wipe this off from the top of the lip and just concentrate in the center. All right, that's cute. Now I'm gonna go in with MAC Gel Lipstick. Isn't that pretty? That is a nice combo. I love that. pretty it was successful guys we had fun doing this I've got a blue eye bag like we've got glittery eyeballs I'm out of focus there I used eyeshadow and a green eyeshadow as contour today <laughs> this was a very interesting playing with playing with makeup you should definitely pick up gel. What's the other one? O? Is the other one called O? This one is stunning. Like, I feel like this is the perfect color, too, for that, like, cold, that cold look. But it doesn't shift, like, too icy. This reminds me of, like, lip colors my mom used to wear with the brown lip liner and then, like, the iridescent nude lipstick in the center. So, so, so good. Um, give me some ideas for other fun colors that I could play with. I definitely have the About Face yellow paint. I want to do a yellow eye look and I want to do something really graphic. I want to do something really graphic and lifted with like this crazy eyelash going up. And then I want to, sorry, my nose is running. Nobody wants to see that. Forgive me. Um... And then I don't know what other color to do. Maybe orange. Maybe I could mix the yellow and the red to make an orange shade and do that on this side. I know I want to pay, pair that with Char so bad. Yes, it's so good. The other one is beautiful too. It's like a bronzy one. Hold on. I have a bunch of MAC things in here. Is it this one? Yeah, this one is... This is O. This one's O. Okay, look. That color is so pretty. And this one's a powder kiss lipstick. I think this is in Chile. Or Marrakesh. My favorite colors to wear. Make it a mess. Do bronze and yellow. Yeah, that's going to be fun. All right. I think that that is what I'm going to do next time. But I think, ooh, maybe for the orange, I could do like blush draping. Like make the whole eye orange and then carry it down the whole cheek and then do like lots of iridescent highlighter. What do you say? think of that? I think that that would be so fun. Yeah, okay. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I do these lives because it's like, a reminder to myself that I could look back and be like, hey, what was that idea? Because I will forget. <laughs> I'm terrible at that. My desk is absolutely demolished. Like, oops. Do you see this? Oh, not a picture. How dare you? <laughs> I'm terrible at that. Okay, camera. 
get it together. <sighs> so yeah, this has been fun though. And this is such a fun way for, for me to finally get through some of my makeup because I purchased a lot of these new things and I haven't had a chance to play with them or anything. So I think I want to do this more often, like come on live on YouTube at least once a week and just open my drawer and pull some things. So that will be the next, the next one will be yellow and orange. Please remind me next time when I come on live that we are doing yellow and orange and ooh, maybe I could whip out some of our pigments. I think I'm going to whip out some of our pigments like Phoenix. Oh. Have you guys seen Phoenix? Like, I'm just going to take the smallest. It has like this, excuse me, fiery flash. Oh, it's like hollow and like fiery at the same time. It flips orange to green. That is so good. So yeah, this is, this is going to be fun. I think that'll be fun with the orange blush drapiness. And then I could probably whip out some prototypes of the glowing, um, the glowing blushes. This is Unearthly's Phoenix Loose Pigment. Yay! I'm still, like, I'm so pissed because last week I packed the orders and then UPS didn't have any pickups until Tuesday. So tomorrow the pickup is coming for the UPS people. Uh, thank you for being so patient. <laughs> um, I'm just waiting for that. And yeah. I'm going to go photograph this before my face falls apart. And yeah, that's that's Phoenix right there. Isn't that fun? And what's the other one I have right here? Another favorite of mine is Pixie. And I think that they're here because I filmed those reels. So this one has like an iridescent pinky. It's like pink, purple, gold, green. Hold on. Do you see that? When I was looking at it on my hand, it looked orange and pink. <laughs> but here it's showing purple. So that one's really fun as well. Yeah, these carriers be tripping. They're not doing their job all the time, but you know what? It is what it is. That's why I have insurance. There's there's insurance. Not on everything, but when you check out, you have the option for insurance. And yeah, I think that this was pretty successful. I'd say the Makeup a Murder, Makeup a Murder Eye Bases really like the texture of those. Because I don't like when they're too wet and slimy and like crease easily. So I can't wait to play with the darker shades and do some like grungier things with this. The eye paint. I'm going to be using it as um, the paint pot. I'm going to be using this as a highlighter all the time. Like, it looks so wet and pretty. And yes, it's sparkly, but I like sparkles, so it doesn't, doesn't really bother me. I want to try the Pat McGrath with an eye primer, a uh, lash primer. I need to pick one up because I've never actually used one properly. <laughs> um... So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to hop off. Um, oh, I got an exciting email from a potential warehouse. The other warehouse told me that they couldn't take me, that they were full. Um, so I have another email from a potential warehouse. I'm going to go check on that now and take these pictures. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for chilling with me. Like, this is so fun. And if you had fun, like... Please let me know in the comments down below if you can give this video a thumbs up and if you aren't already following please follow it would mean the world to me and i'll see you guys later bye guys in stream thank you thank you for joining me it's a blast i don't want to just hang up like hang up look at me hang up i don't want to just end the stream without knowing that you guys know i said bye so I hope you guys um, have a great day. Okay, guys?
Bye. I feel like my thing just lags, so it takes forever for messages to kind of for messages to come through.